find a good place to put your ATM in when you start your ATM business? What is a good location for your ATM machine in your new ATM business? That is what we're going to talk about on this video. Hey there, my name is Carrie Buck and I've been an independent ATM business owner since 2009 and I've been an ATM business mentor since 2011 where I teach people just like you how to start and grow your own profitable ATM business. All right, so what's a good spot to put your ATM in? How do you how do you find these locations? Well, here, here's a cool thing, right? Um, you just open your eyes and look for them. Open your ears, listen. Open your mouth and talk. Oh, eyes, ears, mouth. These are not in any particular order, by the way. First place, places you already go to. Barbershop, hair salon. I just got my hair cut today. My poor um, lady that cuts my hair, her mom passed away. So, you know, she obviously had some things going on. I'm very excited that I finally got my hair cut. Um, <laughs> you know, so you go to hair salon, you get your hair cut. You go to barbershop, you get your, your beard trimmed or whatever. I don't, I don't know how to go to barbershops. Um, <laughs> Whatever happens at barbershops. Um, you go get your nails did, right? <laughs> Whatever. You go out to eat. Places that you already frequent are prime places for you to talk to to place your ATM. Why? Because you already have a relationship. It'll be a warm, friendly conversation. And that is super easy when it's your first ATM. Also, another place. Another places. Number two. Uh, referrals from family and friends and even co-workers referrals from co-workers too um, they kind of um, pass the warmness of the relationship onto you when it's a referral right and you, you bring that into the conversation hey so-and-so uh, referred me told me to come here and we, we should have a conversation yada yada right uh, so that's number two okay number three cash only businesses and there are still a ton out there. Please don't comment on here. There's no, no cash only businesses. Yes, there are. Stop telling people that there's not. Stop telling yourself that there's not. Stop posting on my videos when I actively own an ATM business with ATMs in cash only businesses. Stop telling me there's no cash only businesses. Just stop, okay? Um, and you never want to say all or everyone, right? Because when you use... Uh, um, words like that automatically we can discount you because all and everyone just never really ever applies to situations where people use those words anyway so cash only businesses right um there's still plenty out, out there if you look for them uh and obvious reasons people walk in they don't have cash and you know they have their card and hey you can't you get you can't get your product unless you have cash oh here's an atm here Let's use this ATM, right? Well, people get pissed sometimes because of surcharge fee. Yep. Oh, well, I mean, that's just what happens, right? Once in a while, I'm, I'm actually, honestly, I'm not an ATM user. Um, <laughs> I know, it's ironic. But when I do have to use ATMs, and I use them very rarely, if I have to use them and pay a surcharge, I'm furious. Like, I don't even want to pay ATM surcharge fees, right? So, of course, nobody wants to really pay them. Um, but it is what it is. It's convenience. If you want the cash right then and there, you're going to pay a surcharge. If you don't want to pay the surcharge, well, you're not going to get the cash right then and there. And you're more than welcome to walk out and go get it somewhere else. Right? I mean, that's just simple, right? You don't have to use the ATM, okay? So, cash only. Um, one, two, three, four. Uh, the fourth place is college kids. Anywhere that college kids go could be a very viable spot for an ATM machine. I noticed, ah, I didn't even realize I was actually wearing my uh, Harvard hat. No, by the way, I did not go to Harvard. I could never get into Harvard. The only way I got into Harvard was actually speaking there. <laughs> That's the only way I could have ever gotten in. But um, college kids, I don't care what you tell me about Bitcoin or cryptocurrency, or Apple Pay, or anything else that they want to create. College kids use ATMs, and they use cash, and they love cash, okay? So put your ATMs wherever college kids are. And then number five, niche locations. 
So places like um, strip clubs or uh, casinos or malls, things like that. Like places where people go and they need money. And then once they're in there, even like uh, resort areas too, like once they're there, like they need that money right then and there. And they don't want to leave. Like guys don't want to leave the strip club once they're in there, right? People don't want to leave the casino once they're in there. You get what I'm saying? Um, so those are the five types of locations, by the way. Click that ATM right there and subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to give me some likes. Um, so the five places you already go to. Referrals from friends, families, and coworkers. Cash only spots. Places college kids go to. And then last but certainly not least, niche locations. So those are five places uh, that you can place your ATM machines with your new ATM business. And of course, if you would like some help or you would like some, first let's talk about this. If you would like some more information about the ATM business, go to atmbusinessblueprint.com. When you go there and enter your email, you will get my free ATM roadmap. It'll show you how it went from making zero to generating three to $5,000 plus per month by placing ATMs just in local businesses in my area. All right. Once you enter that email address, you're going to be taken to another page. This page has a video on it that is super important and informative. Watch it. <laughs> Watch it. Uh, you'll learn a lot. And then, of course, if you would like me to help you uh, with your new ATM business to save you time, to save you money, to save you headaches, uh, watch that video and then uh, follow the instructions. You know, fill out the application. Then you will um, hop on the phone with my one of my team members and they'll figure out your goals. You guys will figure out if it's a fit or not for one of my training programs. And if it is, awesome. I will help you kick ass in the ATM business. Um, all right, so don't forget, click that ATM machine to subscribe to this channel so you get uh, all my videos whenever I make them. Um, don't forget to go to atmbusinessblueprint.com to grab my free ATM roadmap. By the way, when you do opt in over at atmbusinessblueprint.com, be warned, this is my warning to you. I email every day to you. Um, don't worry though, they are uh, entertaining and informative. I teach you about the ATM business in my very entertaining way. Um, and I think you'll enjoy it. Uh, most people enjoy it, but you know, if you ever need a, a safety net, there's always an unsubscribe link at the bottom. <laughs> um, so atmbusinessblueprint.com. And uh, if you have any questions, Post them below. Ask your question. Um, again, like. Give me some likes. I know there'll be a hater or two that gives me a thumbs down. That's all right, too. But speaking of haters, uh, please don't post here and say, oh, I've heard this before or you've said this before. Please know that every video that I make is a question that you, maybe not you, but you or maybe you asked me. Right? Somebody asked me this question. And it could be 20 people asking this question in 20 different ways. And I'm going to answer them because sometimes, sometimes people need to hear things a different way to get it. And sometimes people need repetition. So don't, please don't tell me you've heard this before or this sounds familiar. Instead, do something constructive. Post below what you would like my next video to be about oh snap how's that all right so do that for me um post below what you would like my next video to be about post below if you have any uh questions and i think that's about it atmbusinessblueprint.com i would love to help you uh if you again you know you want to start an atm business and you want to save money and you want to save time and you want to save headaches and you, honestly you just want a proven system to follow Right. And, and a mentor that helps support you and guide you along the way. If that's what you want, I'd love to help you. Go to atmbusinessblueprint.com. Get your free roadmap. Learn a little bit more about me. Learn a little bit more about how I can help you. All right. I will talk to you soon. Have a great day and may you live happily off of passive income.